All right, guys, welcome back. Fox here, uh, James Fox, that is. And you can see my name, my face right now. It's so pretty. Got that nice beard. And, oh, man, I, I'm, I'm such a looker. Uh, but anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and get a uh, job today. Now, before I do that, I want to check and see how my drivers are doing. So we're going to hop on the driver manager. Uh, good Lord, they're both making money. Look at that. Look at that. Third, 34, 34. So that's almost seven, seven grand uh, per day uh, that they're making. And our... Uh, Average daily profit is uh, 12 grand that we're making. Uh, profit for the last seven days, we've made almost 100 grand. It's in the last seventh day. Um, money, we only got 11 grand because we did upgrade a whole bunch of stuff on the truck. Um, now it was all cosmetic. And uh, of course, we did get the uh, got the uh, four by six by four, whatever it is, four by six. Four wheels are driving, uh, four of the sets are driving, and then two up front ain't now. That's actually eight drive wheels, right? Because you got one, two, three, four on one side, four on the other. So I, I, I'd say that's actually eight by ten. But uh, uh, anyways, we got uh, that upgraded and uh, got a couple of things upgraded. Let's uh, get our last job of the day before we have to take a nap. Um, let's go ahead and go to the freight market. Truck is sexy. Um, let's see here. We're going to come out of Bakersfield. Ooh, that looks promising. I thought I saw something there. It was hazmat. I thought I did. I saw Hazmat going to Bakersfield. Bakersfield to Bakersfield. Five grand. Hold on. Oh, I gotta drive all the way down here, grab it, and take it all the way up there. Um, I mean, we could. Five grand for doing that. But let's see uh, what the other payment is. There's a seven grand uh, plows. That's a long drive. Uh, what we got here? Gravel. And fertilizer. That's going to take us up to Santa Cruz, which we've already been to. That'll be San Diego, which we've already been to. I don't think we've been to Carlsbad yet. No, we haven't been to Carlsbad yet. So let's take the fertilizer. We'll take the fertilizer down there to Carlsbad, and then we'll uh, find a rest area there in Carlsbad. So let's go ahead and set that. And uh, let's go uh, Let's put the uh, cell phone away there. Now let's... Uh, Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Make sure my brakes are good. There we go. We got plenty of air. Let's take the uh, parking brake off. Shift it into gear. Alright. There we go. Look at that. Alright. Get turned out here. And now we're going to go this way. Alright, watch out. I got a yield sign, which means I don't have to actually stop. So if I get cleared, which I am clear, I can just go. Gotta love it when they don't give you a stop sign. You can just go. Automatic, just get it. None of that manual sissy shit, just get it. Sorry, that's the, uh, I know, that's the, uh, that TikTok stuff. We were just talking about that in the last video, on uh, that last haul. Oh, uh, lordy. He's going plasters and sun. I wonder if he's going to plasters and fun. Look at this. Ain't this fancy? It says Bakersfield over to the top of the road. Look at that. That is pretty. And what time is it? It's about 4 o'clock in the morning. That means we're going to get to see... Uh, I'm going to get a uh, picture uh, whenever we get our photo. You guys know I like getting a photo of the truck. Uh, whenever we get the photo, I'm going to make sure I get it in a nice sunny spot. Get the... Uh, that blue flake on the uh, paint job. Man, that looked good. I don't know if you guys saw that in the last... Uh, last shipment but uh and that looked good but yeah i don't know if i want to be over here go ahead and get in the other lane and i can't tell where it is that we're picking up from um let's uh oh nope 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 yep just like him i'm gonna have to just uh go ahead and uh come on up here yep there's a mr police officer there too i definitely get a ticket for running that Uh, we're going to charge up our brakes while we're sitting here. Because I ain't got anything better to do while I'm sitting here. Alright, that's a yellow. Left hand turn. Alright, dropping the gear, drop the parking brake. Do we burn rubber? Nope, we ain't doing burnouts in this truck apparently. 
I wonder once we get the actual, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about, the steering wheel, steering wheel. I wonder if we'd be able to do a burnout. All right. $840. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to turn on the cruise control because we're just wasting money at this point uh, with doing that. And I don't need to be wasting money. So, uh, yeah, we're turning on the cruise control and I'm going to turn in. Looks like, okay, it is at the light that I'm turning. In fact, if I go slow enough, I'll get a green light for the turn. Going slow enough? Yes, look at that. Look at that. I didn't even have to stop. Just slowed down and anticipated it. That's how you save gas, boys and girls. Uh, we already got this discovered. And we're going right there. Now, you got to watch them because uh, they're coming across those X's. They'll run right into you, too. You got to watch them. All right. Let's see what we're getting here. Uh, pull up the tablet. There we go. All right, freight market. And taking this fertilizer, it looks like. All right, let's grab the fertilizer. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to spin around. Wait until I see it in that mirror. Yep, as soon as I see it in that mirror, shift it into reverse. Watching it on that side. Good. Alright, and it's a uh, signal to our guy to uh, load the trailer. There we go. Look at that. That was perfect. Got right on it. Look at that. Perfect backing up. Haha. <laughs> you guys know I'm full of crap on that. I had to relocate the trailer, but that's alright. That's alright. Alright, let's uh, get on out here now. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got. Next rest stop in five hours. We're in, we're expected there in eight, and we're expecting to get there in four hours seven minutes. So we can't we can't dilly dally. We gotta go because um, we gotta get this dropped off and get to a rest area uh, in five hours. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go. There I go. Better move, Mr. Police Officer. We gotta go. He didn't get the memo. I'm just charging up my brakes here. Oh crap, I said on this video I was going to, uh, we're going to adjust the audio, guys. You might have to turn down your TVs. I'm going to warn you right now. I'm going to try to put everything to, uh, I'll put everything to, uh, max settings here. There we go. Everything's at max settings. I want to see what this video is like, all right? Let's see what the recording's like. So, it's super loud. I'm sorry, but, uh, it is what it is. So, uh, here we go. Let's see here, uh, F1 for pause. There we go, and let's get back. Yeah, that's right, you better make room for me. Make room for Betsy, Betsy's coming through. There we go, they made room for Betsy. All right, it looks like we're gonna be all right. Um, well, let's see if I do this, this, and that. That's gonna be, yeah, it looks like we'll be all right. We'll be all right, that'll work. Uh, what about the horn, is that too loud? No, you can barely hear the horn over the uh, sound of the engine right now. As right, so I we're charging up our uh, brakes, and we're going to go ahead and put it in gear to take off the uh, parking brake. Boy, if you don't go, I swear to God. What the hell? Alright, we're going to keep charging up our brakes then. Uh, damn AI. I mean, damn, uh, damn locals. That's what you call them. Call them locals. Damn locals being, uh, yahoos, I guess. Alright, here we go. And, hey, they're actually going this time. Look at that. Alright. Let's get up here and get going. Alright, now we need to uh, set our cruise control. 
40 miles an hour. 30, 30 miles an hour. It just changed. Uh, cause there's a copper right up there and he'll give you a ticket. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, almost looks like another police officer there, but it's just a regular charger. Uh, or whatever they call it on here, you know, the royalty free version of the charger. It ain't a charger, but still a charger. See, now that's some, that's some crap, you know, they can model the car off of what is very obviously a Dodge Charger. And they don't get copyright infringement or any sort of infringement. But if I use, um, you know, music in the background super low where you can barely hear it, but it's copyrighted, well, I get hit on it. Um, we were supposed to turn there. We missed our turn. Uh, don't do this, guys. All right, Mr. Police Officer, he, he ain't he ain't stopping me for it. Um, I guess we're all right. Yeah, I was supposed to turn here, so we went ahead. We turned in the median. All right, they're they're getting a red light, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go. Man, that turn would have been a pain in the butt if there were people there. Would have been a real pain. All right, let's uh let's get up here and get it. Uh, once the sun comes up, we'll get our uh, get our picture of the outside. That won't be till the sun comes up. Ain't going down till the sun comes up. Uh, I'm going to copyright infringement again. Gotta watch it. You gotta watch it and turn turn off the damn cell phone. Put your cell phone down when you're driving, kids. Don't be uh, don't be looking at your cell phone while you're driving. Don't be doing nothing while you're driving. You know, Fox's words of wisdom. Is knowing is half the battle. I G Joe is. I know I said that backwards, but you know what? If I say I G Joe, then uh, they can't get get on to me, right? Because I G Joe isn't trademarked. Uh, maybe Billingval. I guess ever seen uh, Billingval skits about uh, his kid and his I G Joes. Apparently, he's got a little plastic army man and calls him his I. His, his kid used to call him his I G Joe. Now, of course, Billingval's kid's a lot older now. I assume he doesn't. I assume he doesn't call him his IG Joe's anymore. I mean, good lord, his kid's probably as old as I am. Um, and I'm 30, so. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go on down here, get on the highway. Uh, hold on, Mister. Hold on, Mister Big Rig. I'm, I'm coming, coming through. Betsy's coming through. Let her give her room. Betsy's a big old girl. She got a big ass on, or big a uh, big butt on her. Look at that. See, I'm trying not to curse. I'm trying not to curse. I know you kiddos watching this. You guys don't want to see me cursing. So I'm really trying hard not to curse. So. But Betsy's got a big old butt on her. And uh, that butt's coming over. Alright, our speed limit's going to be 55. We're going to go ahead and set in the cruise control. Again, cruise control. I'll tell you what. Cruise control has got people spoiled rotten. First out, got me spoiled rotten. I'll tell you what. That first car. Uh, some of you guys remember my story about my first car. That 2005 Chevy Aveo. Yeah, it was base model. It didn't have nothing. It was manual. But it definitely didn't have cruise control. And you, I learned real quick how to uh, drive without the cruise control. And I learned how to drive in my mom's uh, Dodge Intrepid. Um, she had a uh, white Intrepid. And that's what I learned to drive with. It was a nice car. Um, I learned how to drive in that thing. Uh, I think I even drew her Plymouth Breeze. I don't remember if she still had the Plymouth Breeze whenever I was learning how to drive or not, whether it was just the Intrepid. But uh, anyways, uh, it had cruise control, but I always refused to uh, use the cruise control. I always said, I, you know, my car might not have cruise control. You know, I need to know how to maintain speed myself. You know, and it turned out to be exactly what I needed, too, because, uh, you know, I, I, I bought a stick shift. It was, it was a uh, five-speed, and uh, it didn't have cruise control, so... Uh, yeah, you had to learn how to do it, but I'll tell you what, the cruise control is nice on this game because I can just set it and forget it, just like those old, uh, good lord, that's probably trademark. Set it and forget it. It's probably uh, trademarked. I'm probably going to get uh, demonetized. Look at that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, yeah, we're going to get down, down the road here. But yeah, the, uh, I love that Aveo. It didn't have air conditioning. It didn't have nothing, but you know what? It was mine. It was brand new. It was 2005. Um, base model was eight grand, brand new. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it worked really good for me. It was a good first car. I mean, now looking back, I shouldn't have bought it because um, I spent my entire childhood working at Quiznos. 
um, and I would work there Monday through Sunday. I mean, I'll tell you what. Actually, what I worked was uh, during the week. My mom didn't want me working during the week because of uh, because I had uh, school and stuff. So during the week, I'd be at the uh, skate park pretty much from after school until uh, you know until dark. I'd go home every day, but then uh, Friday night through Sunday, I would work Friday from 4 p.m. to close. I would work Saturday open to close, and I would work Sunday open to close. Oh yeah, uh, my uh, my childhood was spent working in, uh, from the age of 16 onwards was working at Quiznos, um, and I still went further into debt. I'll tell you what, I still owe my mama money. Now, that's why I'm, another thing I'm working on paying off, guys. So using those Amazon uh, associate links, using the, uh, you know, buying the merchandise, uh, joining the Patreon, all that stuff, you know, it really does help. Helps me pay off the people I owe money to. Helps me pay off uh, uh, pay off my debts and, uh, you know, get me back on my feet after I got retired. Uh, a lot of you guys know I got medically retired from the Navy. I did uh, military police work for seven years. Um... Got medically retired now. I drive this truck, and this is uh, what I do: is just driving this truck and watching you guys. Uh, you guys watching the GoPro? Uh, got the GoPro on my head, so I look around. And you can see where I'm looking. But yeah, uh, got medically retired from the Navy, and uh, now I drive this truck. And uh, you guys watch my videos, and uh, you guys go to FoxtrotDeltaUSN.com, and you guys do stuff there. It really helps me out, and I do appreciate. it. I love you guys. I love my Patreons. I love everybody else. You know, you guys are. You guys are just amazing. All you guys that are buying the t-shirts and buying the hoodies and buying the, you know, cups and whatnot, you know, it's helping me out $5 at a time. And it's just, it, it's awesome, guys. You guys are amazing. Um, we're going to get up here, get out of the, uh, good Lord, how long do we, well, I, I don't want to pull up my cell phone while I'm driving. I got 111 miles. All right. Oh, we got somebody coming up. All right. That uh, charger looks like he's going to speed up. Yeah, he's speeding up now. I say, because I, I needed to get around there for a second because this bus, but the bus got over. I guess we're good. Um, and the GPS isn't telling me to get over now. Um, while the uh, videos are rendering tonight, um, after I'm resting, uh, I'm going to take a look and see if I can't find some uh, a new GPS that actually speaks to me. I know uh, somebody was telling me that on the uh, Discord that I need to get me the GPS that speaks to me. So I'm going to uh, take a look for that. Um, also, there's a uh, visuals, so it'll clean my windscreen, and you guys can see the uh, countryside better. Um, I know that's out there. I'm going to take a look and uh, see if I can't find that. Um, other than that, like I said, I'm going to get the visual um, so you guys uh, can see through the windscreen better, and I'm going to get the uh, GPS that talks to you so I don't miss uh, turn off directions and stuff. Yeah, it would be really cool if they had a Waze mod, uh, Waze mod for my uh, GPS where, you know, it automatically rerouted me around everything and, you know, told me the best way to get somewhere, told me there was cops sitting on the shoulder head and all that stuff. I mean, that'd be real cool. Guys, if any of you guys are good at programming, you want to come up with something cool, that'd be something cool to come up with. I'll tell you what, that'd be, that'd be amazing. Got barking spiders. Barking spiders on the side of the road over there. You hear them barking. You don't know what barking spiders means. Uh, ask your mama. I might tell you what barking spiders means. Yeah, we're just going to head down I-5 here. Um, I guess we're going south. That's another thing I wish that we had was a uh, compass. Because there ain't nothing on here. I mean, even my Silverado's got a compass on it. I mean, I look up at the, uh, it's on the uh, rear view mirror. It tells me whether I'm going north, south, east, west, whatever. Uh, but yeah, even my uh, Silverado's got a compass. Oh, plane coming by. See that? Oh, plane disappeared. Okay. There's the helicopter. So it was a helicopter, not a plane. And it must have came out and then turned around and went back. That was throwing me off for a second. Unexpected event on my route. Imagine that. Um... Let's see how bad how bad rerouting is gonna be here, because um, like I said, we got we got a shit and get. We got a, I only got a couple hours of driving on it, um, so it's gonna force me onto here. Um, all right, that won't be too bad because I can come down here, come down here, and then come down there. So yeah, we're gonna. Uh, We'll go that way. That'll work. That ain't too bad. 88 miles. Yeah, that ain't bad at all. 
any bad at all. So see, that's the good thing about having the tablet is I can just pull it out and I can reroute. So yeah, that ain't bad. I'll take it. Now, if it was going to be real bad, I might try squeezing through there, but uh, that ain't going to be bad at all. Go ahead and hit resume on the cruise control. Um, actually, while we're coming by here, we're going to go ahead and go by nice and slow. Give them plenty of room. Yeah, I could have squeezed through there if I absolutely had to, but I'll tell you what, that cop wouldn't have been happy. And I'd like him to see him add in the, uh, I'd like to see him add in the, uh, in the country that, uh, you know, if you do that, you get a massive, like, ticket or something. Um, right now, I didn't get a ticket last time I did it, um, but I'd like to see him do, like, a $3,000 ticket or something like that if you go through their scene. Um, because real world, I mean, you get massively fine for that I mean you're endangering your you know not that this isn't real world I mean look at how realistic it looks uh, but yeah you know um, IRL I guess you'd say out of character or whatever the hell um, you get massive tickets going through uh, something like that for endangerment and all that good stuff so yeah they've got some sort of thing they got a uh, thing up here too where they're blocked blocked it off um, glad we weren't in that mess hello mr. police officer um, so yeah, there's another uh, another mess right there. They got blocked off. So I don't know what all is going on there, but they got something going on there. And we're just gonna uh, keep trucking, keep it going. They got another uh, guy pulled over up there. Look at that. I mean, like California Highway Patrol ain't got nothing better to do today. That's why we use our cruise control, so we don't wind up like that little four wheeler there. I'll tell you what, I love my my cruise control and. I tell you what, guys, it ain't worth speeding. It really ain't, cause uh, you, you lose fuel economy. Which, if you're driving around a little Honda Civic, I guess that ain't as big of a deal. But when you drive a Silverado like I do uh, in your day to day, whenever you ain't driving, whenever I ain't driving this big rig, uh, I'll tell you what, my truck only gets maybe uh, you know 12 to 15 miles per gallon. Um, now, highway downhill with tailwind, I've seen as much as 25 uh, sustained. But that's downhill with the tailwind. Um, so anyways, like I said, going speed limit, you can save, like, I think fast lane truck, uh, figured it out, um, between speeding and not speeding, I think it was like a three to five percent, uh, fuel, fuel percent savings, and whenever you figure you're only getting, you know, ten to fifteen miles per gallon, you know, three to five percent is another five miles per gallon, you know, that's, uh, or no, that's not, that's, uh, I guess it was 25. I don't know. I don't know. But they, they saved money. They saved money. That's the important thing. I need to get over here. Four-wheeler, watch out. I'm coming over. But anyways, they, you save money by going speed limit and not speeding. And, uh, you know, driving my truck, that's what I do. I go speed limit. I leave my house early enough that I ain't got to worry about rushing anywhere to get anywhere. And if I ran counter traffic or something like that, you know what? I just call them. I say, okay, such and such, you know. Kind of like, okay, Siri. Um... Even though I don't think uh, I think you have to say "Hey Siri," but anyways, I use my Android Auto and I I tell them to call whoever uh, whoever I'm going to see and I say, "Hey, look, you know, I say I know you wanted me to be there by 10, but I'm stuck in traffic. Um, I'm going to be there about 11. You know, you just let them know you're going to be late. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. One of the things I learned over the years is just uh, you know, relax, relax about it. You know, now we're going to go ahead. We're going to uh, take the speedometer down to. 20 and what that's going to do is that's going to yeah he's getting tired um i'm getting tired of me yawning oh good lord uh, too tired uh but anyways by taking that down to 20 it got me slowed down on the retarder so i wasn't using my engine brake or uh using my uh using my actual brake so much so that way we saved our air all right so we have to actually stop and then go if there is a police uh, there, they, they will give you a ticket for uh, running a stop sign. Rolling the stop sign. Rolling step. Because you got to have all all your wheels come to a complete stop. And you got to have rearward weight transfer. Um, that, that's a complete stop. And I'll tell you what. Cops will give you a ticket if you don't. If you just kind of uh, stop and then go. Just kind of rolling through. Guess what? You're going to get a ticket. So it is what it is. But like I said, I'm trying these uh, new audio settings, so I'm hoping that it ain't too loud for you. I'm hoping everything's good to go. I'm going to, like I said, I'll actually listen to the video and, uh, you know, after we get uh, to a rest area up here. But like I said, he's going to need a nap. Or I'm going to need a nap. I'm getting pretty tired, pretty tired. Even though it's, uh, well, I guess it is, uh, 
I don't know what time that is. I can't tell. Let me pull up the uh, pull up the cell phone here. Yeah, it's only uh, eight eight forty one a.m. and I'm tired. Apparently, I've been driving all. Well, yeah, I have been driving all night. Yeah, but there's me on it again. Uh, there you go. Ugh. Getting tired. Getting tired. Gonna drop off this load and go find a rest area. How much time do I got before it says I gotta get out of sleep? Uh, one hour. So I got one hour and I'm also gonna have to get stuff uh, repaired. Let's go ahead and close my cell phone there. Don't be looking at your cell phone while you're driving, kids. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Alright, let's get the, uh, Feeling limit set 55. Now I might want to slow down a little bit more here. Um, I know it says 55, but that seems a little. Seems a little fast, maybe. Uh, this is a little curry, a little uh, windy, windy. Whatever I used to say. Is he trying to pass me? What a Yahoo! What a Yahoo! He's gonna try to come on around. Look at that. But I am going a safe speed. I am making sure that you and me both go home to our families at the end of the day. That's what I'm doing. Uh, you can just sit back there and relax. That's what you can do. Good lord. People in such a hurry. Such a hurry. Alright, let's get this uh get this trailer parked and get up to the rest area. Yeah. Uh, getting tired, getting tired. You have to go get a rest area. Yep, yeah, this is a dark shed Ozu. I don't know what the hell that's actually says, but uh, where is my parking area? All right, my parking area is right up there. Uh, they went it over there in front of the. Uh, what are we hauling? I don't remember what we're even hauling. Fertilizer. Okay, so that's why they went it over there. It's fertilizer. All right, we're gonna get the fertilizer. It's such a pretty trailer to be fertilizer. Look at that. It's such a pretty trailer to be fertilizer. All right, now we, what we need now is we need a picture. So let's get outside of the truck, walk around, put on our parking brake. Oh man, I'm at the wrong angle because I want it right here, but I want the uh, I want that blue flake shining off the hood. But that's all right. That's all right. We'll go ahead. We'll go right here, just like that. Go ahead, and turn that off. Go ahead, and take our picture. There we go. Now we're gonna climb back in the uh, truck here. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I understand. I'm tired. I know I'm tired. All right. Let's get this uh, Yahoo trailer. Uh, uh, let's see here. Reverse. There we go. All right. Drive. All right. I still need to. Yeah, yeah. All right, I hear it, I hear it. All right, do I got it this time? Hopefully I got it this time. Oof, back into the offside. Oh, shut up. Back into the offside, back into the offside. Using that mirror. I'll tell you what, I might change the... Uh, change the mirror's uh, perspective because that's a little far but uh yeah i still need to back to the offside some more good lord all right let's get rid of that beeping sound yeah we gotta go all the way over there guys uh luckily i can uh, turn around like this so uh seriously it isn't up there yet wow we used a lot of our air up Oh, lordy. Hey, we're going to be here an hour just waiting for the air to pump, pump up. And yeah, I'm going to get that pumped all the way. There we go. That should be more than enough. All right, let's take the, uh, I guess I do this, take it off, and it, uh, yep. All right, let's go ahead and throw it in reverse. All right. Well, I can see back there, which is always good. There we go. All right. Now we can bring her around. Now I can actually see where I'm going. That's that's always beneficial where you can see where you're going. All right. I'll start chasing it. Start chasing it. Start chasing it. There's something. Oh, bub. 
That is not a good place to be. Uh, I'm going to have to come in at a different angle. Um, that's the way that I'd like to pull it in, but we're going to have to come in at a different angle to it. So... I know I'm getting tired. I can feel myself getting tired. Good lord, these little Fitbits telling you when you're tired. I guess that's what it is, that Fitbit telling me I'm tired. Alright, I'm going to try to aim more at an angle coming in uh, to it at more of an angle, maybe. Uh, that should get us uh, cleared. Now I'm going to try to get an arc on it to where it pretty much just arcs right into position. Alright, hopefully they take this. Hopefully they take this. If not, it's going to be a pain in the ass. I think we got it, though. Yep, they'll take it. All right. Ooh, doggy. All right. About 213 miles. We got 300. Uh, we got 451 uh, driver points. Uh, that's going to get us a level up. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue on. We're going to get a new endorsement. Um, let's go ahead and unlock that high value. Jobs unlocked. There we go. Uh, so now we got the high value. Um, now let's go ahead and find somewhere to sleep. Uh, where are we at? Oh, good lord. Guess what? There is nowhere to sleep, so... We're gonna call a, uh... Call a tow truck? Let's call a tow truck. I don't really have any other option. Um, I mean, I could drive up here to the Kenworth dealership. I mean, that would be preferable. I mean, if it could, uh... I don't know if they'd... Call me to the Kenworth? Well, let's go to the Kenworth. Uh, now I'm pretty tired. This isn't gonna be safe. Don't drive tired, guys. Whoa, that was a bad day. Get into drive. There we go. Oh man. All right. So we're gonna go up here to the Kenworth uh, dealership, um, and we're gonna take a nap up there. Now I think that's gonna be it for the day. We're gonna take our nap, and we're gonna, uh, you know, I'll see you guys tomorrow after that. Um, other than that, guys, there's really nothing else. It's just gonna be me babbling as I drive to the uh, Kenworth dealership. Of course, it was just me babbling as we drove down here, all right? We're going to go up here and uh, see if we can't find a place to sleep for the night. So for the day. I'm going to try to sleep through the day and night. So hopefully we start off again um, pretty much 20 hours from now. Uh, I think I'll be able to do that and start off 20 hours from now. 20 hours from now is going to be, see here, it's uh, 9 in the morning. So that'll be uh, 5 a.m. Oh, uh, 20 hours from now, so we might we might do that. Get us uh, 20 hours of sleep. Uh, take 20 hours off. Guess that's how you'd say that. Uh, let's see here, 55. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna bump up here to the uh, Kenworth dealership. And get our uh, get some rest. Kind of nice that the Kenworth dealership will let us sleep there. You know, it's, uh, that's a my, my, mighty kind of them. You know, but look at that. Look at the scenery. It's just so pretty through here. So beautiful go here. Beautiful area. If it wasn't so liberal, I might I might consider moving out here if it wasn't so liberal. A little too liberal for my liking though. That's why that's why I stay in Missouri. Alright, so looks like we're gonna hop the highway up here. We're gonna head north. Yes, I know I'm getting tired. I can feel myself getting tired. Oh, it's making me yawn. Oh, hearing hearing myself yawn is making me yawn more. Alright, let's get up here and, uh, alright, uh, I-5 North, alright, I-5 North, speed limit still 55, alright, then we're gonna kick the cruise control back on, get onto the highway here. I really wish they'd make these on-ramps longer, but I realize it's a 115th scale. Everything's on a 115th scale, so that's why, uh, the on-ramps are so short, because it's 115th of what a, uh, on-ramp would be, at least that's what I'm telling myself. Uh, if you notice the time, it's, uh, one minute for every four seconds. So that means that's one fifteenth. Um, so I figured out that it's, uh, you know, all the miles are pretty much one fifteenth. Everything else is good to go like that. So, uh, yeah, this, this country is, uh, one fifteenth the size of the other country, if you get what I'm saying. You know, out of character or whatnot. Here, we got Los Angeles and, uh, Bakersfield this way. Uh, I don't know where the Kenworth dealership we're gonna go to is at, but, uh, yeah, we're going to take a nap at the uh, Kenworth uh, dealership. I think that's going to be the uh, best best option for us. Um, now, our DOT logs they ain't going to like this, but we're not technically under load right now. So, uh, 
We should be all right. I mean, good Lord. And could you imagine if they added logs to this country? We had to maintain logs and everything. I mean, that'd be a little bit too too realistic, right? I'm tired. Well, no shit, I'm tired. Don't close. Don't close. Don't close. It's all right. We're almost there. We're almost there. Don't fall asleep, Fox. Stay awake. Stay awake, James. Stay awake. All right, I don't have a stop sign, so we're just going to cruise right on up. I assume that would still be a yield. Of course, I don't know. The other people might have to yield there. Because um, technically, you're coming up and you're turning onto a cross street. I don't know. That, that, that's a little funny. Um, I guess we're turning in here. I guess this is the Kenworth dealership. Yep, yeah, that's Kenworth. Look at that, Kenworth. All right, let's get repaired real quick. And we can park right there. Look at that. Oh, hey, look. Pull through parking. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and repair. Oh, uh, services. Uh, let's get our, go ahead, change the oil, repair the transmission, repair everything up, you know. I was a dumbass. I hit some stuff. Yep, there it is. All right. Got that. Uh, let's take a look outside. How's the truck look? Oh, uh, that's still sexy. Dad, I love those lines. At the blue. Oh, that's sexy. Black from every other angle. Oh, that 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 looks good. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for checking in. I'm going to take a nap here. Um, other than that, we're just going to pull up here. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, I'm about to pass out in the driver's seat here. All right. Let's uh, set our parking brake. Turn off the engine. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, don't forget to check out FoxtrotDeltaUSN.com. It's your best place to get merch. Check out the Patreon, check out the Discord, or if you really want to be cool, click on Partners. Bookmark this page. It's Amazon. Every time you want to go to Amazon, click your bookmark. Click Amazon. It'll take you to Amazon, and it'll help the page. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Hugs and shit. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. I'll see you in the next one.